We have ourselves a match in the finals, facing off against Team Thunder Sticks. PHDS will be racing to 13, and the Thunder Sticks will be racing to 15. I got Scott Simonetti in the booth joining me. He's going to be calling the plays. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah, we had a little hiccup to start, but we're just jumping into the first game. And because let's go to the first table there, Jen, so I get a better look. Sure. Yeah, we got to switch cams for a second. We're just getting caught up. I got Steve Lentz, the team captain from PhDs. So the situation is Thunder, Dick, Thunder Sticks. Whoa. Thunder Sticks are undefeated. So they do have to be beaten twice. So true double elimination. So no. Reduce race. True race is 15 13. So Thunder Sticks does have to win two extra games. I'm just trying to see who. I think he's playing. We'll find out. Either way, this is Steven. Steven did real well in the singles, and Scott Shell was a very good shooter. He's their captain. Co captain is Kevin, but Steven is the main guy. He's their stud. He's super thin on the two ball. I'm going to let Clay. So Clay, I got the wrong team. Thundersticks is Steven and Clay. There we go. We've seen PhDs and we've seen Clay play. So I had a little switch on the, on the teams because we had a little hiccup. Technical difficulties. But with stripes, it's wide open. Clay shoots real well. Waiting on that second table. If you just join us, we wait for the, maybe so we could get the players introduced. And then we could flip-flop back. But right now, we're going to give these guys their showtime in the finals. Long race. Okay, we're going to do these drawings. And a few items up here um, for the event. We bought the event shirts. Perfect position. Perfect. My people will draw back and get 13, would it? Hey, this raffle? My, my raffle dude is going to draw my ticket. Okay. So not going hey, little so tester off the back rail. Deep. There's a lot of tickets in there, so this is going to be I'll miss you for you lose. Big here. shot. Two ball caps. Smooth like tickets. butter. Big this. shot. Looks like they're not scared. None of these guys are scared of the shots on the table. Being it being a bar box. Five, eight, three, two. It is. Tim Stinnett. A little bit towards the rail. Yeah. So it's a little bit of problem because he's got a bad angle. He's got to get back for the eight. I'm sure, he could come across. But I think he's going to blast forward. What a stroke. Pretty big statement by Clay. First game coming with that first shot. So we're going to wait and see who rolls into the next table. I know all the players. We're going to stay on that table there, Daniel. Oh. Congratulations, so JD. Who do we have? We have Jim. Man, I forgot all these players. I saw PhDs play, and they all got a solid team. Thundersticks. I haven't seen them, but I've seen two of them. Two people. But Steven, Jim is playing. Let's see. So we got an updated on the second table. As we're playing, we'll be waiting for the updates to come. They pop into the app, and then we get notified and do a little update. But we should have a score update coming. So Jim is playing Roddick. So Roddick I met the other night. First night in town in Texas. I was at a pool room. I'm not, I can't remember the name, to tell you the truth. It's been a long week. 
But I've met him, so I guess I'll root for him in that roundabout way. But as we got a minute, I want to remind everyone, this is the final, so and it's also the final day. I'd like to give a shout out, a real big shout out to ACS, Texas ACS, American Q Sports. They're the ones that put this on. They're the ones that hired me and my boss. So thank you for the job, but it was nice meeting everyone. We also have Diamond. You know them, Aramith, Acme is uh, Omega's brand. Simonis is the cloth we all know. And Omega Billiards. So as we uh, get through all the housekeeping, Jim's going to come up and break. And it's a 2 nothing early lead for PhD. PhD's is pool hold delinquents. Last four digits. 1637. Just a bit good. Just a bit good. Alright. Apple Air Punch. Okay. Last one. Real big break. Real big break. That's a real like picture perfect eight ball break. Could be a quick one. Last four digits. Six zero nine six. Casey's food more. Congratulations, everyone. Thanks for doing the raffle. You got solid sitting right in your face with a hanger. I don't know if he holds for the seven now. Comes out for the five, six, five, six. It looks, I think it's uh, three nothing in a flash. That's me predicting and sharking. My ball probably is a little snug, so just float it in. Ooh, it needed the ticky. Okay, wow, that was uh, the five one easier. So, first thunder stick, Roddick. A nice angle to draw and get the 13 in the same, same pocket.
Just don't get caught on this one and you're home free. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You wanted to come out all the way around, just a little short. Big error. Huge error. All before the eight is almost like instant death. Roll it up. Guess it's a band-aid. Point. Really, really upset. And, uh, I agree with him. He was running so smooth, hitting everything pure, and then, boom. Jim's loving it. Jim's got ball in hand, and Jim shoots well. A little too much angle wanted to be dead straight, I guess. Two big misses. I just gotta try and play safe somehow. You no, know, gotta get the cue ball. Left hand, top left hand, a uh, bottom left hand corner by the Aramith. You do that, you're all right, but it looks like it's rough. You can get there. Trying to sneak in between the eight. Boy, that was a tough hit. He was in a tough spot. You're gonna leave. You were gonna leave a seven ball pretty much anywhere. It's going to be an easy, easy 3 nothing lead. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can pop into the other one, Daniel, because I do know Bo. But Bo's at the table, and he is playing. Hmm. Not sure he's playing. Someone's in the chair. Just got to wait and see. Just got to put a name to face. I was calling the bank on this four. It is two. Man, my eyes are shot. He's struck. He's struck. What the hell am I doing? Coming in, uh... Late to the party, bites me in the butt. So we're going to see who we got here. Dan, you're going to have to pull up this name. You don't May have a, who? Mayor. Oh, yes, Mayor. So Mayor for Thundersticks, first time we're seeing him on the stream. Early 3 nothing lead. Race to 13. True double elimination. So it's the first set. It's still very early.
try and break them up? No. Good cue ball, good cue ball. It's a kind of like a back angle. It will. If he plays, it'll be able to break his seven out, like the same type of thing. Maybe, you know, because you're going to three ball into that corner. Uh, cue ball's going towards that corner. He has the one. I mean, if you got the one, I guess you could play off it a little bit better. Bump on it. Hmm. I think it's trouble now. Now you didn't like the way it originally sat and, you know, went at it again. I don't know if you, like, punch it and get that 13 out of there and take over the pocket. Okay, safety play, safety play, tying it up. Bow play is real, real good pool, so other than the 11 being over the ball... He might bank. Because it looks too easy to come off that six and try and roll it. I don't know. Towards the pocket. I like the bank. Okay, keeping that safety play. Let's just check in table one, see if there's a run, Daniel. Let's see if we get a run. We'll come back to the bunting. We got a run going on. Steven from PhDs. I believe he's PhD. No, Thunderstick. Oh, that's a that's the Steven from PhD. There's two Steves. One Steven, one Steve. They both shoot top speed. This one's for PhDs. Okay, we want nothing. We'll hop back over, see if they uh, fixed up a little bit more mess. No, same position. If he has enough of the seven. A lot of nudging. There'll be more nudging, I believe.
I try and like at all costs try and get into the 13 but you know with control and if I don't get there I look for my safe behind it I just don't think you do anything off of this but if you roll up the 11 you could get that little maybe angle in the corner and just rip it be right off that 12 but it's risky right Let's see what he does on this shot, and then we'll cut to the run because we got a new player, Thundersticks, Kevin. He just broke. We'll catch up with him in a second. I just want to see this next move. It's a decider. He's got a little savior because the six don't go clean. I mean, Mayer was able to pop that six clean. He's gearing up, or is he just looking to make sure he stays down by this iron myth? Looks like he's gearing up for something. Just a uh, control safe. Not bad. Well, if you know the guy ain't shooting nothing, right? You just get the seven hanging. And he wants to drop the cue on the eight. So maybe the seven by the side to get him into play. But I don't want to leave him there. Because he could use the ten. I want to bring him all the way up table. Try and, oh, he's going to bank the seven back on it. Back on the lane. It's eight ball. Wow, it would be good if he does it. I just don't see it. But I will look to get the seven free. What I'm giving up is the is the real test. I mean, this is tough. It's a good play to get the eleven in play by uh, by Bo. Daniel, let's go on over and catch some uh, some time for Kevin. Kevin's the co-captain. He's on a run out. He's a tough two. Tough two to get to the, you know, his other balls. Have to draw back underneath it. Towards the nine and back across. Great shot. Need a neck next shot. Just the four works. You roll it in, you're sitting on the three, it's just your snug on that stripe. Not much changed on the other table. So we'll stay right here.
Eagles it in. Gets the first game for Thundersticks in the finals of the 2023 ACS Texas Championship. Winner does go to Vegas to represent Texas nationwide at the Nationals. But we're going to jump right back over, right back into the old safety battle. They're really working this. Okay, let's uh, catch the old good luck and shake hands on the first table there, Daniel. We got Sherman and I think it's back to Roderick. And just uh, with, with um, Sherman, he, if you watched the stream last night, in order for him to, for these guys to be here, or day, day whatever we are, make it to the second day of their teams, he, he made a kick shot to win it type of thing, and it was incredible. So if you just even, if you never watch pool, <laughs> just go watch this shot for the last 30 seconds. It's like, you might see him on TV, but me as a commentator, I do a couple matches everywhere, every once in a while. That's the first time I've ever seen something like that. Like that dramatic. To win the set, and just an incredible shot if you want to go check it out. But that's the guy. I caught his ear for a minute. He's like, yeah, I was." his friend said, I knew he was going to play. I said, that don't mean nothing. He still pulled it off. So big break up there from Ronnie from coming right at that one ball. Big break. Everything's on sale. Seven ball. Huge break. He takes the solids. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what he was playing for, but he's got the five. If you make the five, the table will look, look, just look a lot better. Instead of trying to control stuff, just figure out what you might hit. And looks better this way. One shot and boom. He's the instant favorite. Now he played a couple great shots the last rack and then something went bad on one position shot and it caught him. He's back to running out. Same stuff going on the other table. Those two guys are the perfect pair to play that game. You know, if they know that bumping, they're both in love. Me, I would make the first move all the time. Because I know I'm probably, you know, I'm probably going to lose if I get into a thinking game with one of these guys. But gets the six would be helpful. Yeah, gets a nibble on the six. Rolls to danger. This is tough. Because I think the make is a scratch. You know, bo uh, bottom left is a scratch. Feel like it, you know, especially going into those bowls. I 
I don't know if he could play it. You might have to come off the other side fat and try and bring the Q off the left rail towards the Omega corner. Just hope you leave him long and straight. Make him earn the 11. Or you got to fire out. You know, if you got to fire out, you got to just hope you, you know, play and hope you don't scratch. He's going to cut it in a side. I think now he's got enough. It sits there, you know. Hmm. If no 13, then, you know, 11. But I think he's okay on the 13, believe it or not. This guy's a wizard in my eyes, so I don't say nothing when Chairman's shooting. He did some crazy stuff yesterday. He's the captain, so that's why he does crazy stuff. But good shooter. Comes with it. I mean, you know, for the pressure, I mean, the guy comes with it. Let's take a peek. I think they might have budged through over here. Let me see. Yeah, someone went. Ah, oh, look at what we did. We all that. We come into it. I got some timing. We finally got on the angle to go to the corner to the short round, go into it, and ended up over here. After a real long game, a little safety tug of war. Under six. Under six makes it four two. So we're back at it over here. And we got Sherman still at the table, so he must have somehow got back. The four two draws it right to where it's closer now. 15-13 is the race. Extended race, uh, two extra games for Thundersticks, but they are undefeated and have to be beaten twice. So they got a little breathing room. So if he was trying to play it, it worked out great. If you're trying to miss it, it's a great miss. I don't has a problem. I guess he's just got to kick to the three, you know, and just hope. Line up this kick calls the three. Looks on. Next hit. 
Always gonna leave something. We bring Sherman back to the table for PhDs. There's a lot of hooting and hollering on the other two tables in the arena. We're the only show in town, us four tables. I think that's maybe like a minis or some sort of other little finals that we're missing out on. Holy cow, we're missing out on a good one, I think. We got a good one here, but I don't know where Sherman is going to put like the 9 and 13. All right, so he's going to start with the 14. He almost would have drew into him, you know, could have drew into him. I don't know if the 913 fell good. But he's, got, he's got the 10. Two dollar beers. They it's just announced. I think we're gonna lose the whole team. They might all run over there. Nope, no one's budging. I might. I got two dollars. I need. Yeah, this this nine thirteen fell. I thought he'd shoot to ten, but I don't know. Looks good. Go figure. Uh, second place, San Antonio Borachos, San Antonio. Nine balls got a bounce. All right. Okay, hey, so that was the mixed standard teams that they're announcing. So these are the big boys. And the team don't leave. We need your photo. Uh, 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 okay. Leaves you tough. He's reaching. Nice touch. Good bump. Solid captain play. Boy. Oh boy, a little tester. Herman. 
Splitting pockets. 5-2. Five, 5-2. Two. Five, two. Let's give a switch, Daniel, and see what's going on on the other table. Perfect. We got Jim. Jim is at uh, the table. PhD, trying to pour it on. A little short with the bump. Gotta make a bank. Calls top left. What that bump? Oh, as soon as we walk in, there's a bump. Drags it. Spins it just a little wide. It's going to bring Mayer up to the table for Thundersticks. Wide open table. Hey, Mayor does his thing, cleans out the rack, brings it to 5-3. Understick still pumping away. We switch over. New player. Let's see, who is this guy? You know who that is, Daniel. Before I get it over his shirt, hold on. I think that's Tartar. Yeah, I think it's Tartar. Tartar for Thundersticks. It looks like it's Bo sitting in the bird's nest, bird seat. The cue ball. Hey, thank God for 10 9 combos. Got a little loose. Got a tough second ball. If you roll real tight, maybe you get the 13, but I guess you're kind of playing for where you land, where the 7 lands. You draw it all the way down? Okay. Oh. This guy I like. He breaks them all up. Overpower the table. I like it. He's looking at the 10? Whoa. 
Switch is back. Switch is back. I think you just got to come across and, you know, try and go in between the three and four coming back out. See the Tommy or Tartar? Who is it? Tommy? Tartar? Tommy. All right. There's a Tartar in there. He's hiding, but the big Tommy. That's where he wants to get it, but you don't have to keep him roll under the floor with control. A little bit of a power. Power game. What a shot. Great control. It's a dead one wired. Still can't get free. Big Tommy's on a big scramble. Put this in the side, clip the seven, save for the fourteen. He, I think he's trying to not hit the seven. I think he had a play to kind of hit the seven. It loosens up the cut a little bit. Makes it flatter. He's digging in. He wants to avoid the seven. Where I don't. I don't mind the seven. I'll let it leak to the seven. Hey, what a hit, man. He hit that pure to do that, you know. Come right out. I thought you'd just lay up, but he brought, brought it all the way out. Power stroke. This guy plays strong. Big time scramble by Tommy. 5 4. Look at this. And we're going to slip show over because we got a thunder stick at the other table. And this guy plays. I thought this guy plays real good. I mean, I know he plays real good, but you know what I mean. This this guy, Tommy, might be a, another stud. But Steven. Steven on, uh, for thunder sticks. He's their captain, and he probably cashing everything he played in this weekend. Rips it back for the meat and a sign, and I mean, perfect. It's tight, it's tight, but if you just kind of not hit the one type of thing, but there's a there's a slight cut. That's 
What happened with the slight cut? Unbelievable. Holy cow. I mean, I thought he got perfect on that, on that, that window. Who does it bring? Steven? Steve? Uh, yeah. Two Stevens. One Steven, one Steve, whatever. But there are, they're both good shooters for their teams. So it's tight. 5-4. Not even sure who's up. Oh, so Tater's up on the next table versus Clay. But we're going to watch this one. Little window and they're looking good. Just missed the eight, right? Just don't get caught up on the eight. Beautiful touch. A little tester. Let's just get it rolling. Oh, wide. Man. Just like that, a swipe. Five, five. A little pressure, a little pressure. Came up a little short and felt it. You know, he wanted to be straight in. Okay, and that's going to give us a look at Tater. Tater for Thundersticks, 5-5. Five, five. Getting close to where... No, we're not. We're not getting close to any. Either way. Tater's getting close to running out this table, I bet. I don't know who's who. We're just walking in, and he's playing Clay. Clay's a handful. Works out nice. Uh, 
Seven, the five is... I don't know how snug the five is. The five wasn't snug. It might roll to it. I think Tater's going to have to draw this ball. I can get back under the six a little. Shot, but even if you draw him back, you know, and nudge the six, like if you don't get that straight angle and you click on the six, I just don't think you can play any safe. I guess you could play safe off the floor somewhere, but I get you in trouble. A four calls the one side pocket. Yeah, it's pretty much a challenge to clay. So straight up, go ahead and shoot. Wasn't much there. I would if that maybe you just try and shoot the five at the very worst. It comes off that little point. Plays at the table. Got a little uh, snookered ball, but it's all right. Tight. Got a lot of stuff to work with. Well, if you tried to hold, no good. It's all right. You could get back up to it. Your eight's clear, so you could use the 11. You know, go from 11 to 8 if you had to. Should be a good stroke because you don't want to hit anything, so drawing to stay out of trouble. Alright, time, decision time. Oh, not really. Nine in the corner? Do you turn it and try and get into the 12? It would be a, a, a difficult hit. With that inside turn. Cut the nine down the bottom left. You go to the left rail and then you got to turn it towards your eight, 12. It's safe. He kind of leaned over and said something to his opponent, I believe. Could be mistaken. Leave him on the 11. 
Ain't bad. Double up on the four. Just gotta make sure to double up. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. He called it off the five. Very super duper aggressive. He just got to shoot this one four. I know he knows this. This one four. I don't know if you hit it hard and trying to bounce the one off the rail. You don't care. He's a safety guy. Right. Hey, Daniel, let's go see if we got to run out. We'll run out pool so we don't fall asleep. That Sherman's got that. Man, look at this triple Indy. I just shoot these just to see if they go. Has to go. If he's on stripes. Maybe it's a little off. It's kind of pushing to 10 to the left, I think. I'm not even sure if Fairman stripes. You know what I mean? I'm, this is we're just coming into this. I'm just assuming. All right, there. Then, then that makes a little more sense. Like solids. Oh, and something. What? You gotta crush it, right? The seven don't get, you know, gotta make sure the seven don't get tied up. Dang, little control movement gets the one at work. I don't know if the one goes. Do you got to bank it cross side? Because he's going towards the eight. It's kind of like got to come back out. Eight ball got ugly. This is crazy. He comes all the way around. He shoots the 2 or whatever that thing is in the same corner and rolls towards the 12 to shoot the 8 up the side, up the rail, down the rail, frozen. Oh, man.
I'm standing over this. I, I know what I just said is what he's thinking. I don't want to shoot that eight up the rail. Right down the rail. It's a brutal shot. They are still working on that second stream table. Man, I think they made it worse. With all the balls just cluttered. So he's going to call the seven. Easy. He might overcooked everything. Oh, man. He cooked all of it. Take a look if this table opened up, Daniel. We're going to shoot over to one. I think Clay finally got an out going. Okay, a little bit of fall away angle has got to come. Hit this with a sting draw, but it can't leak. It can't go and come off the rail towards the four. You got to draw this and hold it straight back. Good shot. Oh no. Tried to come with the reverse hold. Oh. I'm gonna bring Tater up. Tater did all that safety just for this. He's taking a sip of an adult beverage. My kind of guy. They did say two dollar beers. Uh, I don't know if you want to play and get fancy where you kind of make sure the four stays there with off the combo. Do you take the natural cut and play the four in the opposite column, opposite corner, knowing it's going to come off? You're going to try and play that little thing, like that little cut. So it does. Oh boy. Okay, that was close to like being no good to nothing. Oh, I smell a safe. Taylor's looking to hide the cue ball. No rail, I don't think. I don't think there was a rail. Okay, so there's a little bit of there's a there's a couple fans over in the corner. I don't know, I saw a bounce back, that type of thing. So we're dealing with a little issue. It didn't hit, it did hit. And from what I've been seeing, like, if you don't have the ref here, it's going to be a good, you know, you're going to be kicking. Hey, you don't know the guy's not going to get there, you know? But that's part of the rule, because if you ask me, like, you know, people will ask me, do you think it hit? And I don't lie. No, I don't think it hit. But, you know, how it works. I mean, they're looking, like, you know, everyone, a couple minutes goes by and they start looking at the commentators and the crowd guy. Did you see that? Get on camera. But they're kind of holding it up to kind of see. But I don't think they're going to get a call in their favor, PhDs. Okay, so we carry on. 
the normal rumbles from the crowd, but we're here kicking it. You know, I mean, the true justice is uh, this guy kicks it in and runs out. You know what I mean? Rightfully so. So I kind of hope he makes it because I understand the situation, but the only way to get through it is you make it. Kick it in, baby. Okay, you know what? You might get the best of that. Just hates where the nine is, because you know what Tater's doing. Tater's rolling. Trader calls the four. Man's pretty good. Oh, I gave him a little, gave him a little dig. He goes, "You get a rail right there." <laughs> oh, play, yeah, I like it. Yes, Tater. Hey, Tater, you get a rail right there <laughs> on that one. I hope he jumps and kicks it in. I don't know. I think, you know, one more or two more shots, and then that one's passed. You got a good roll there off the, the bad call, Tater. I mean. But. This is a tough, tough hit, because there's no real safe if you go into your two rail, because you can't really get behind a kick and stick. Freeze up his four or five. I turn around and you know, something like that. You know, Taylor's gonna do the same thing again, but might let this cue ball. Called it? He called that. I mean that's the call. Just there wasn't much you can do. Alright, so here's Tater. Tater's got to be careful to overcook, right? Just don't want to go near this nine ball side. Like it's on a string. Big game for Thunderstick. And we're going to switch over because there's another Thunderstick at the table. I think this guy's a Thunderstick mayor. So 6 5 and looking to make this. Uh, we got straight. He wanted to, I guess, have it to draw to get past this two ball. I don't know. Wait, so 6 5, 15, 16. I think he's going to draw right to the 2. What a shot. What a shot. Thunderstick. Mayor. Dropping that in there. Hey, I agree.
Whoa. All right. So Thundersticks now makes it 7-5. So it's an even race to 8 now. Wow, we are still on the first set of true double elimination with Thundersticks needing a one win for the title. Okay, let's see if we jump on this uh, primary tail. We're back. Yeah, so Jose, we haven't seen too much of. Jose from PhDs and Big... Oh, I said Tater and there's a Timmy. A Tommy. Yeah, Tater and Tommy. So Big Tommy. Now we're back and uh, everyone's caught up on the race. The PhDs had a big lead. 4 nothing, maybe? Big enough? Jose with a cut break. Eight ball. Nope. Cut break goes dry, I think. Big Tommy, he just whittled away through a a tough uh, tough table with firepower too. So he overpowers the table, blast or anything. I think uh, stripes is looking good if I get that fourteen. Well, it looks like a little touchy bridge. We're going to roll it in. Get on a decent combo if you wanted it. If you don't like it, but you want to get to that 15. Boom. Oh, it's tight in the side. You don't want to play the combo because it might bust up too much stuff, like rearrange too much, but I think you might have to. This guy's got some stick. Looks like he might end up with this 11 for his uh, go-to ball. I'm going to get the 11 now. Yep. I think he got enough for the 11 for himself. Cut inside.
I think if he got on the high side of the 11 as a last ball, he could get, yeah, he, if he got there. So he could reset, come off the back ball to get on his 11. More rules dropped perfect. Man, he don't even he go right in between the three if he wanted. Strong another strong, strong uh out by Big Tommy. Seven five. So we cut over, we got another thunder stick at the other table. Big Steve. He's got the six. Fell nice too. Nice angle. fancy goes all the way to the perfect angle trying to bump this nine Hey, Thundersticks, they're on a run. They want to last, you know, plenty. Nine, five, six away. A, a uh, PhDs at the table. I should say incorrect. That's Kevin. So more Thundersticks. Got this uh, Karam to the com combo. Or to just cut the 14 into it. He's looking at the Karam combo.
don't know if he's got the right angle to like play it off the seven. I mean, he's got the right angle to get to the 14. I think that's what he wants to do. Get that free. Okay. Would have loved to draw a little bit more. Do you take the bank? I guess the eight needs work anyway. I mean, this is going to be a nice stroke if he got it. He's got to really dig in a little bit. Just come past that two ball. I mean, three ball. I'm going to cross. A little speed spin. Your eight ball is a headache. I didn't even see that thing. I thought he got good. Got issues. Hey, Dan, you just take a peek on that secondary table so I can show him what I'm seeing. Look at that eight ball. We're going to come back and see if he hits that shot. I just want to point out that eight ball is being nasty to people. Hey, okay, so he got into trouble, tried to get really fancy. I thought he could get around by drawing. But he freed up the eight, if anything. Don't like it with PhDs coming to the table with an open table. Takes care of these four balls right here. You got a nice setup ball to get to your eight. Pop these couple four and should be in good shape. And you draw it to the 14 inside the 14, hopefully. This is looking great. It's looking great. I said that before, but I, you know, it's just saying it, it looks real good. Because he could. Sure, this don't drift the three ball. Should be straight enough. We're gonna hop over. We got a we got a nice shot and. Uh, May, uh, Mayor, they wondered. Just been playing great. A little straight on the eleven. Still okay. I think it's a good hit all day.
great shot. It's going to equal a game. Understood. And PhDs did get that game, so we had a double finish. So they're going to just trade punches. 10 7. Can't trade punches no more if you're PhDs. So that's good. I mess, I mess up. It's 10-6 or 10-7, Dan? I'm not sure. 10-6 is good to go. So we're waiting to see who's up next. Okay, so on main table, we got a good matchup. Looks like we got Steven, the captain, against the other Steven. On the other table that we could cut to, just to give you a heads up, it's Big Tommy. And I think it's Sherman. So we'll keep an eye on everything as we start getting down to where it's getting down to nitty gritty. Play two games at a time, so any sweeps are big. Get those two games instead of the split. Why don't we catch his uh, Big Steve's break if we can? There we go. We'll stay on this for now. Pretty much no favoritism. Whatever's going, we're on. Okay, dry break. Incoming Captain Sherman. It'd be hard not to take. Let's see. What's it hard not to take? It's hard not to take solid stripes. I want stripes. I want to. I want to take the nine. I'd like. I don't mind leaving the ten there as long as I got that. Like you know, a combo going to it. I'll have to take it now. All right, let's uh, switch over, see if Steven breaks him up. If he gets on a break and run, we want to try and catch it. Big break. Huge break for Steven. Thunderstick Steven. This can be over in a minute. Take the 15 first. You know, the 14 goes in the other corner. As soon as he shoots this 14, he's going to be just right back on a 15. You got the 15 power, it's kind of ugly, and you can get the 14 to the top right. You just, whether you look at it or over, you just hope he hears me, right? Sometimes it's easy from a pier, of course, or down here or in the booth. I know where I'm at. A little short. I'm going to get. I mean, he's okay, but he's got to get straight on the 11 because the 8, you know, I got that one pocket. 
You don't want to own it. But if it gets anywhere where the three is, you know, draw towards the five, come out of two rail, two rail corner. Even you draw towards the three, like tight towards the three, it's okay. Spin towards the three. Swing all the way around for the other side. He's got a touchy, touchy shot. He's okay, but don't turn it towards the six. Let this ball go. Use your control, but you got your two. If you hit your two, you're okay. Be control. I like it inside. I mean, the corner, top left corner. I'm not sure he wants to get in there. Cause it, it, it seems like it's thin that you need a little speed, I guess, but I think it's full enough that you could kind of work with this. Just don't turn towards the six. I couldn't get it there. A huge, huge inning for Jose. Hey, PhDs has two shooters at both tables. Sherman's on one table, and Jose. Jose's got the better table. But Sherman's got a, Sherman's, you know, working on it out. There's, there's poles open for him. Well, now you didn't get for that seven. Get these three and then go seven, six, you know. Okay, now that switch, you got a good angle to come back up table. Down table. You know, he's going to have to come back for this five. He got short. I have to switch switch again. You know, now you go six, seven, and you come back up for the three, five. Wow, that's a big switch back.
That works out. That works out. Now it's just a matter of hitting your spots, right? Three to the six to the three in the side. Keep your angle. Five. Looking good. Angle. Look at this shot. That's a foul. That might have been a foul. No. Okay. I thought it was a foul type of thing. Maybe he just hit it funky. It's close. He's got a really, really thin this. He's okay. Come out. Where's Q is two rails almost. That area. Trade punches, one for one, 11-7, race to three, race to six. Thundersticks is getting close. Okay, we're going to wait to see who they're putting up next. So we're winding down. I just... Uh, I don't know if it's going to go a second set, but I won't say it again. I just want to thank everyone. My name is Scott Simonetti. I'm with Omega Billiards TV. I've been here all week, so if you're used to my voice, I'm I'm glad. If not, I'm sorry. I know I'm in Texas. Hopefully, I brought a little Jersey, Jersey accent, just so you could either start liking it or still always hate it. But I'm sorry, and uh, thanks for listening to me. But we're going to be back at it. Have Daniel Krapinski, he's been doing all the cameras, whether it's good, bad, or equal. He's putting this on. Without him, I can't do none of this. I'm better off with an iPhone and talking live on Facebook. But we got 11-7. They finally brought out a scoreboard for the players. So one, we got Tater racking. And one, so it's Thunder Sticks, Thunder Sticks round. They did that on purpose. Under six round of breaks. So Kevin for breaking on one table. We'll watch this one for a little bit. He's playing Big Tommy. And Tater's going to be battling with... Uh, looks like Big Steven. Big break. Sounds dry. Or it looks dry. 
found a good look shot. So here comes Big Tommy. I believe he ain't moving, so maybe a ball did go. No, just waiting his turn. Maybe he's not playing. How about that? I thought Tommy's playing. It's Bo. Tommy looked like he was ready to play in this player seat, but Bo to the table. Uh, solids all I mean stripes all day Just that little nudge, you know, ruins everything. I'd use the 12 right now and come right back at it. Using the 11 maybe to draw to it. I don't like it. 12, come right back at it. If I don't miss, I got a couple more chances to get at it. You might try and stuff this thing. Okay, so no good on that one. Almost a 12 again, but I don't like it now. Another half inch. Big Bo, you know, he's got to try and the 13 is, you know, all that stuff. I would just, everything I do, I'm looking to get another angle to go at this. So if I got to fire the 15 to try and get an angle that better on the 10 or 12 to come into that 8 type of thing. Every, every shot is looking to get at that 8 because it's senseless to do anything else. You're not going to outmove them, I don't think. Ten ball, maybe got to fourteen to cut and come back at it. Mm, not yet. Just keep grinding, I guess, and get on the eight ball bank. That works. I mean, that's what's coming down to. Still battling on the second table, so we're gonna say and think it out. We're gonna think it out with Bo. 
think he's, uh, you know, going to eventually be back in his eight, which is okay. You know, if you can't bank and, you know, you, you're in a rough game with eight ball, you're not, you know, at least a decent banker. He's, he's got to get out. He's got to get out for the 12. I mean, he can, but no, no. 12 is next. I don't think he played for the side on this next ball. But this is kind of flat. He's got to come out. I think, I don't know if he comes out towards the five. You know, he might come out real flat and get stuck down there. Stuns across. Wow, we might not get any. All right. Look at the 15 he's got to deal with. They're getting harder. Scrambling hard. So he was flat, tried to punch out. He didn't hit anything, you know. If he hits a ball, but he got out clean, and here we are. He's got a quick game while we were stepping away over Tater. Tater, I'm sorry. Rolls it in. Clutch, clutch, clutch hit. So it is 11 8. PhD Steven got a win. And Bo is still shooting. Do you think this eight goes off the six type of kiss from behind? I don't know. He's got to rip Jordis for a cross bottom right bank, corner bank. But I think he's looking like this thing like kisses. Comes off the six at the right hand corner side. I could be mistaken. But if not, he's got a big draw. He's got to draw the center table almost. I'll get up. Almost to the side pockets. Uh, he's been looking at something here. I can't wait to see it. No first kiss? Oh, man. I... This would be sick or sick. Shot of the tournament. It's underneath. I don't know. Holy cow. That would have been a shot of the tournament. That was crazy. I would have never even thought of it. I guess maybe I would have found it, but no way I'm playing it. <laughs> you know? Kevin played, uh, Kevin's pretty sporty too. I mean, this team stacked nothing for nothing. This Thunderstick's got some players on it. Nothing to take away from PhDs, but one dude's got some heavy-duty firepower. 
Tater's got all the moves you ever seen in eight ball. Our second table that's just getting into that game, I do believe it's Jim and Big Tommy. Keeping track the best I can. He got straight on that. And he didn't. He tried to create that little angle. He was dead straight. Look at this. PhD. Close to his work, but you figure it's going in. It's close. Side or side pocket or corner. Whoa. Just so tight on the ball. I didn't like the inside he was hitting. That thing, every time inside, you're just going to want to throw it away. Push it away. Whoa. Okay, folks. Okay. Everyone's stunned. Okay, that'll work, that'll work. Can you just go side to side, I don't know, and try and slow roll it? Kick from the long rail, left hand side, just straight at it. I don't think it works. This is a tough one. Probably eight up on the three. This is risky unless you hit it hard or perfect. Yeah, hard or perfect. Look at this leave. Oh my God. Just wing at it and get perfect. Oh man, I feel. 
feel bad for you. On that one, I feel bad for you. Guy just flicks at it and you're dead safe. Oh, put me on tilt. I go rail first in the corner. You gotta watch your side. It's in the pocket. It's gonna come up, sh you know, real sharp off it. Not, not just a make. I mean, even if you do this and miss it, a miss it could put you coming across towards the side. Look at this. Oh, touche. Unbelievable. This is an incredible... All the tournament, all these matches that and that keep doing this stuff, it happens the most in Texas, I think. Holy cow, what a lead. What a, what a return. Good end. Clutch game. Crazy couple rolls, but in the end, PhDs. 9, 11, race to 4. Back at it. Right back in it. Big Tommy. He's looking pretty much wide open, but he nudged something. I think he nudged the eight ball into pro. How much three three ball he has? I figure if he clears, he should be able to work off the one either way. I don't know where he gets going. If he's got it in the side, he can maybe do something. Either of the corners, there's a play. Pick up on Steven's big break. Let's pick up on Steven's big break. Since Thunder sticks, we'll catch it. Huge break again. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back. There we go. Nothing's changed.
Did he get two straight? He really wants to bump that 12, I guess. Like, really get that 12 out or with a force follow. Here we go. Money, money, Tommy. I don't think Tommy's lost a game on our today. So twelve, nine, pushing it closer, pushing it. Who do we have a table? We have a thunder stick at the table. So Steven's still on his run. I don't think he's even shot. So we didn't miss much, unless he took stripes. He took stripes. Let's catch Jose. Let's catch Jose. So Jose for PhDS to what are they? Yeah, they're the pool hall delinquents. PhDs. This guy had a big break, but a funky one. He goes right off that nine. Look where he hits. Oh, he gets that split. It's going to leave a wide open table for Kevin. Now, Kevin had a freaky game last game. So check back in on Steven. We shot the five or something, whatever that ball was here. So he is solid. So he was stripes. Turn this right at the five. Hey, he just misses it. Gets a helper. Hey, one bump is better than no bumps. I might cut the three. Just rearrange everything. The four, I don't think this, if the six passes, it's one thing. Drop behind that five. Off of any ball here is, you know, it's tough. This right, this, this stretch, I, you know, you better off forcing the three in. You ain't going to be able to, you know, no oomph on the four. Ah, now he's, now he's got some oomph angle. This six looks too tight to even play position for when it's so easy to get above it, maybe, you know. That six shooting down this bottom right is like, if I really have to. Even if you bank the three into the four, I just don't like trying to do much here. Are we going for the bridge, I believe? He's doing a little uh, housekeeping. We're going to switch all right. He's got his own bridge hat he's got to put on. We got Jose. We'll come right back to Steven, but he's putting some bridge hat on. One of his cues. All right, let's go see what he figures out. So he blasted a couple things out. 
think he has the three. You know, it's going to be a touchy, touchy, ticky. Smelling like roses. And nice five ball. Just going to make sure. Pick your path and ba-boom. I don't know if it's fat enough to be drawn out of it. So I do think he's got to like get in between that 8-15 gap. Start working on how he's going to get out of there. He draw to the 8-15 gap. He probably, I don't want to hit the 15. It's like. That angle might hit the 15. I might try and draw out of it and just hope I could clear the 8. Or if I hit it, hit it hard enough. That six goes. I mean, he keeps looking at it, so it's got to be really. I got to look. Hold on, I got this rail. I could look at the six. You can't play. I don't want to feel like had ball in hand. You get it perfectly straight to try and play to cheat the pocket. But any English on it, it's not going to work. Oh, so any any sort of English on your cue ball or cuts. I don't think he'll go, but I do think he could draw. I mean, it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't risk going follow and just trust myself to get clear at fifteen. I would hit it with enough speed in case I make contact. If you could get to there, you could hit it with a whole bunch of reverse. Then it'll straighten it out right off of that rail towards the 11. Not as sharp, but, you know, it won't run. A kill shot. Update Pool Hall Delinquents Jose was running out one before the eight and missed back to Kevin. Still want to stay here. I don't want to cut. There's a lot of pool here. This is an important one. Because it's freaky looking. I still think you could cut it inside the 15 and just try and hold it a ton or rip through it. Extreme inside or extreme, like, you know, draw. I think he's trying, trying to float it. 
And it's a tough one. I feel for you. But this six ball, man, it's no good. Hey, he likes this, man. I, I, it's close. I think you gotta be really perfect, like a perfect hit. It was, it was not much there to look at. Okay, so we're gonna get back to Kevin because he's on an out for Thundersticks. Okay, two away is a big deal because you could swipe it on a double sweep on the table setup, how they have. Two matches at a time. We'll cut back. We're going to see what Sherman does. Well, here's the situation. 13-9. Two for Thundersticks. Four for PhDs. The 4-2 race is the true race. Tater's coming up to bat on table one. Try to ride it up the rail. Tough, tough, tough. Hey, yeah, didn't leave the greatest angle for Steven, so it's kind of like, you know, he's got to work. At least you could sit down and say, hey, he's got to go all through all this junk. It ain't easy. One click and it's over. There's one there. But he can't stretch it. He's got to go quick to the rail and tight. Like one, two, you're going to go around the 12. Tight. And shoot towards the 11. You don't want to stretch it. Look at this. Nice hit. Look at Oh, my goodness. I didn't see that click. Look at the click. Look at the shape. Oh, man. Everyone was put their hands up near almost. Oh. This could put, put Thundersticks on the hill. Hey, Steve, the captain, comes up with a big one. A big one for Thundersticks to put him on the hill. That's one game away. You know what that means. We're going to Tedder's break there. And we're going to catch up with the Sledgehammer or Tedder. Tater. That is, Tater's a great nickname, if it is a nickname. It kind of fits him, you know? If it is a nickname, that's a Tater right there. It looks like a Tater. He's, I think he got a ball on the break, and... No, no ball on a break. Dry break the bow. He's coming in. PhD's open table, and it's everyone needs to win from here. So it's a tough, tough road. See if your individual need five games, but it's tough in singles, right? Teams, all your teammates got to do well. So Steven's up for PhD's, and I don't know. See who's coming in on table two. Give me a second. Maybe there's a little timeout break. But Bo's here, still making his decision. Got the triple Lindy 11 6, whatever that is. Okay, let's catch Steven's break if we can for a second. Thank you, Daniel. Go right over, just catch a big break in case this turns into a break and run. I would like to follow it. Break. 
Huge break. All right, we'll stay here for a minute. A little clutter on the second table. It's still deciding. I don't know if you cut the. Yeah, I'm not sure. Cut that three seven. Six three seven? No. Four more? Oh a cow. Did something nice to shoot the four bottom right. Yes. Okay, so we're still kicking. We're still kicking. PhDs is still kicking. 14-10 hits double digits. A 3-1 race. Once again, Thundersticks wins and they go to Vegas. If PhDs wins, we do this all again for a second true double elimination championship set. We got Tater and Bo on this table still in play. Bumping balls around. Taters, taters solids, I believe. On our other table, we've got Big Tommy. 
We're going to catch Big Tommy's break when he gets his kill. He's got a big break. Break a run for the set for Thunder, Thunder Sticks. Okay, here we go. Let's see. wait. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, either way, we're good. Just figure out who he's playing. Okay, he's busy. Let's go back there if you can. Oh, no, he just needs chalk. All right, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, no one's shooting, so. There we go. Oh, okay, let's go back to Tech. He's going to wait for his opponent. That's That's what that's all about. Tater, tater, tater. So he makes his ball, leaves a straight in deep dirt 12, but that, I think it's the 10 that's really tied up down there. For a bow. 14-10, Thundersticks is on the hill. Okay, miss comes, and here comes T Tater with a chance to run out for the win. Zoom right, Daniel. Thank you. Whoa, so I was just made aware that Understix has to win twice. Been corrected by the ref or the main guy. Okay. That changes everything for a minute. I mean, a whole big minute. Okay, Tater gets that ball down. To play to get to this too. Okay, so now I don't know what's going on, but we did clarify PhDs is in the hot seat. So they need to make the comeback to avoid the second set. Tater, I think, has got a... Uh, I don't know if you don't want to make balls, but kind of got... At least could go for this, too. Oh. Tater just... Look at what this roll is. What a sour roll that is. That's a roll I get. That's a roll I get. That is incredible. He makes that ball clean and doesn't hit anything else. Maybe, maybe. It sits on a click to the corner. Hey, Big Bob. Got to earn his keeps. Going for a hit.
We don't know if it's frozen, like a push call type of thing. Can you shoot through it? Can you not shoot through it? He's going to try and jack up a little bit. Okay, he's going to hurt himself. Move the 8, getting into position. He says that's okay. Holy cow, does this guy know shots? Man, oh man, this guy knows every shot, every move. And then floats him in real nice. It's the nudge of love. Run into position. Hey, there you have it. Guess what we're doing? We're starting all over. That means I'm going to stand up. Now, Daniel, if these people start, you start talking. I need to take a minute. My voice is killing me. It's been a long week, but I just need five to just run to the bathroom. Right, so players break maybe agree if they go up yep. that type of thing all right player break right, fuck five. It. Thank you. five i'm fucking oh. hey where's your keys daniel i gotta get water or something
that's what. It's all in your footsteps. No, that's exactly the fucking problem where you might not have a job next time. I'm telling you, Steve. I love you, bro. I'm being honest. Promoting to the stream, maybe I don't know. It, it, is it already promoted? You know what I mean? As long as, it, as long as they know that not this one, not the second set, but make sure you're separating it so it doesn't run. I am. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Going in like uh, five hours of the same. Yes, sir. In there, Danny boy. Oh my god. It's fucking freezing. It's fucking freezing. Well, Mike is trying to get me a flight so we can party tonight. Okay. But. I'm here for you. <laughs> But I don't know what. Are you gonna be flying out of here? I'm flying out of here. It's just a matter of. Got the house across the T's. Nah. Get a up. matter. Well, a matter if you could leave whenever the hell you want, or you're gonna be stuck a little bit waiting for giving you a ride to the airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if the airport's closed, that type of thing. I don't know. Four minutes. But where's the how far <laughs> you're about to see it's like you might or, or like the airport or is it close you know them airports around here uh no i like don't a, yeah i think there's a Guma Guma airport yeah. 
I don't mind if you drink, okay? Thing is, you got to present it to the bosses, right? So if we both, if you walk in a beer and I walk in a beer, he's already on your tail. That's the last thing he's going to want. You can even, I told you when I first met you, no drinking. <laughs> you know what I mean? And when you, when you start drinking, it's like you didn't listen to me. And I understand when I'm vegan, but... Again, I don't know how that fucking concerns you. But if this went smooth from fucking jump street, Daniel, this is a cake job. It's a cake job, right? Long hours, you sit there, you know, good. you you know, you kind of got a little boring type of thing, but when shit's running smooth, yeah. Yeah, you're about, well, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, I don't know, it's up to Mike, right? I mean, what the fuck, even if I get an Uber and it's a hundred dollars, it's, it's all him. I go, Mike, listen, I don't know who, who you think I am, but I, I'll just pay my way out of here. You know what I mean? I ain't here to suffer. I'll, I'll pay up, Mike, to suffer when possible. That's not a sucker. I want to go to fuck home. Oh my fuck, I've been, I've been gone eight days to do a fucking four day event. Right? What the fuck? My piss thinks I got no, I got no nothing. I don't want to play camera.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the 2023 ACS Texas Championship. We have our teams match and PHDS winning in the hot seat just lost to Thunderstick, so they will get another chance at it. Racing to 13 and Thundersticks racing to 15. We'll be started here momentarily, and I'm joined with Scott in the booth. Hello, everyone. I know if you're still here, no one left, and they're right back. So right back to it. Let's see who is starting off. It's a fresh start. Race to 15, race to 13. Dan, you told you, but this is a true championship set. Enough of the hot seats and double eliminations. Ready to go. Hey, let's jump on the other one while they're ready. We're going to just keep going back and forth, just like last one. A big Tommy to break. Leads it off for stun Thunder Sticks. So that whole last match, I had it wrong who was in the hot seat. Like I said, doesn't matter now. Dry break. The second one Steve's had on this table. Brings the, uh, I mean, Tommy, brings Steven. He had a clean out to get the uh, last to get him to double digits. But the last one was 15, I believe, 10. Let's go on to the other one. We'll get to see if we could get uh, the other Steven. See if we got a break here. Break and run. Eight ball shooting. Okay, two dry breaks. Let me see. I like this camera better, Daniel, so I'm going to use this one for now. Stay right here. Who do we got? Okay, Sherman and Steven. I don't know if the 1511 is dead. Can't pass the 7, but if it's dead. And other than the 4 being tied up, you could run out solids without touching a ball and you know, on other, the other guy's ball. 4, four is being stingy. Roll up and go get it. We roll to the 13 if you want it off the 7. Choice, tough choice. Let's come back to that. See some running out. Someone's shooting. We'll figure that out. Steven's cleaning up these stripes, I think. Fourteen up the rail is is uh, tough. You don't want to shoot it. Yeah, it's kind of tough. He swings it a little bit off the rail, and it leads to a miss. So, Thunderstick Tommy. Oh, 
Tommy hasn't, I don't think he's lost a game, and maybe he's missed one or two balls. Okay, this guy plays super strong. Steven, the team captain, plays good, but this guy might be a little bit more firepower. I think I didn't shank that one. I've been making people miss a little bit when I talk them up. He's decided, does he take the seven now or go to the seven next? But I think he could hold the four. You know, he could hold the four for the seven with outside spin if he really wanted to. I don't think he needs to. Just waiting for the other table to clear and give him some room. Got him stuck. I don't know if he wants to bump it on the way up. He was trying to hold that. But it's still, it's like you could get right where he's at again, you know. His pole right there. Like, let's say you had that. That's fine for in the side. He could get there again. And it probably sneaks past the 15 if he had to really be good on it. Just a little bit. Still might play it and swing it around. But I know what he wanted to do. Too good to get trapped. So during the break, I had a choice to buy. $2 beer or a $3 water. That's what I'm drinking. So I'm just joining in. I, have, I don't really drink like during work. But this is uh, kind of a celebration. And a good price. $2 beers. Come on. For this one, he want, I think he wants to go forward. And drop right for that too. Some window. We're swinging all the way around. Watch this. This should be nice. We just drop for the seven, but I think he's trying to really get into it. No. Oh, spin, spin, spin. Okay. Well, now he's forced to shoot it. Believe it or not, Sherman's still grinding on this little run out. It's been tough. Let's check in on him real quick, just for a second. Okay, he's working. He's in trouble if he's solid, so we'll come back to that. Here we go. Little red zone. Cut to action, but I think if it looks real sharp, like almost sharp, you're going to hit the 15. 
Just looking at it now, trying even to cut that thing. Looks like it's so sharp, you're gonna like kind of bank. Oh, you can I don't know. All right, let's watch. I think he's gonna really rip on this. Like if unless unless he's gonna play for the combo next, you know, but I don't think he could hold for that too. He's gonna really dig in. Hundred miles an hour. There's the cut. See, I knew he was gonna hit that fifteen. Wow. Man, oh man, and the scratch. Terrible, terrible. Got in trouble, made a good shot. I think it was t it was gonna it was so steep. You had to kind of spin it. Okay, let's uh, check in. See what Steven's looking at. So Sherman did not hit that three ball that we kind of took a peek on. I gave ball in hand to Steven. PhDs. I mean, I'm sorry, Thunderstick, Steven. Looks like the eleven looks pretty good. Looks like it throws to the left. It, it looks like it's pointing to the left. You gotta like kind of turn it to the right a little. So if you want the ball to go left, you hit it on the right side. You need that second ball to go right. You hit your first ball on the left. All right, safe. Okay. well tucked okay let's go back to the run out daniel hey there we go daniel hey, my man big tall steven has been playing well every stream match maybe a fumble here and there but overall he's like 90 percent solid every game and out of 10, he's winning. Maybe eight. So he's been putting on wins for PhDs. A tough little cut sitting on a scratch. Spins out of it and gets a first game. One nothing PhD second set. They only do have to go to thirteen. Thunder Sticks has to go to fifteen. One nothing. We're cutting in. Steve now got ball in hand after that safe, so Sherman wasn't able to get a kick in. Well, first set we played, PhD came out with a big lead, you know, big enough, four, you know, maybe even five one type of thing. I think it was four nothing then, and, and Thundersticks won like nine in a row. So they're never out of it.
looks pretty dead. I still think he's on the wrong side if it throws, throws them, pushes the 11 towards the left, left. Okay, very nice. Gotta come back now for the 14. 15 didn't come out high enough. So he's been saving his 14 the whole game to get to this 8, and now it's not good enough. Maybe he goes right to the save, but I wouldn't. Steven plays good. He's gotta hit this gap 1 3 if he follows. I mean, 3 8. He follows. No spin, just hit that gap, you're fine. But the draw is rough. I think he splits the three. And the angle, you know, just high ball. It's a tad of right. Oh, well, he don't want, he don't want that. He wants that 14 to go to the eight. I mean, he's been, I've been watching, you know, four or five innings to avoid it. I think you stay aggressive. It's early. You know, you're playing good. I can see if it's Hill Hill, you got to tighten up, but let this ball loose. Yeah, what a nice shot. Well, he, he had to pump that, I guess. He got caught up. That hit, the big hit, caused that ball to hop a little bit. He had just enough. He lost a little juice with that hop. He crushed it. I didn't think he had to crush it that much. Because if you if you're that full, then you could really draw easier. You know? If you're that full on a ball, then it means you could draw easier. Okay, he wants to close this distance. A little short. You know, a little light. So it came a little cross. It felt like as soon as he hit the ball, it felt light. Wow, I mean, it played the drums on the way in. Holy cow. Yeah. Do nothing. Well, no, Thundersticks, 1-1. One, one. We're coming into another Thundersticker at the table. Wow, oh, we got a second. This whole place is cleared out. I mean, there's nothing to drink but beer left. There's no food. I want to get, like, one water, you know, whatever. But there's nothing left. There's no tables. There's no people. And the reason why I say that is because if they kill the music, we're in trouble. Because they're right near us, and I know they're here, and I don't want to have to really whisper or stop talking when they're near me. Because sometimes they're two feet from me. What do we got here? That wasn't nothing, so, you know, I guess he was in trouble. But it brings Jose. Now, Jose plays pretty sporty. He's got a little light, controlled game. I haven't seen, you know, where he's letting his ball loose all the time. All his hits are the same tempo. It's real good to develop. You get If you have that tempo and it's so consistent, you're going to play real good bar box pool.
let's switch over to the other camera because Roddick hasn't been on our stream a little too much and I don't even think I've seen this guy break and he looks like he the whole table in half. That's a big dude, but solid big dude. Yeah, man. And let's stay with Roddick on the break and run, big break and run. Hoping I'm saying that right, Rod Roderick or Roddick? Roderick. Okay, I'm sorry, Roddick. Roderick. I just kind of caught myself with my notes. Roderick. Roderick, you got a big break. At that 1411 is great. And it opens up stripes, you would figure. But the seven's not hard to get to if you're solids. And, you know, you got room with the five, and you definitely got the six, so, you know, that type of thing's not really a bad pocket for you. It's the four ball. Because if you don't move the nine and shoot around it, then you got your four with no home. Okay, so he missed the nine. He still owns the pocket. But I think stripes was the, the proper because it gives you the eight access. But the problem is, you know, gotta start over. I missed his spot, so he's gotta start over. But he still got a shot. He's okay. Looks tight. Go past the two, it looks real tight. Chat. Updated score 2 1. Thundersticks takes the lead. Drives it in. Might do the same shot here to get into the 10. Any type of hit and try and go one, two, three, two rails towards the seven with steam. Maybe if you if you miss hit it, you scratch, right? Or something. I think, I think so. He wants to pick it out. Yeah. I'm shooting and I'm going down, like, just missing the whole thing 100 miles an hour. That's real tough to do, to just go and into a ball with slow speed and just clip stuff, you know. It's tough. Okay. Good play. Good eight ball. Good eight ball pool.
You gotta try and, uh, I think you gotta, oh, you could get behind. Alright, so Bo, I didn't know this is Bo. Yeah, Bo likes to, he, he knows how to nip and tuck. He's got a good touch. He plays some crazy games. He's been involved in some crazy games. So I think he's going to come off the edge. Like, almost play to cut it in. You know? He's frozen on that side rail. I guess it's a tough kind of hit. But I, you know, it's, if it's too much, then don't, then keep it simple. You know, just come off the two and get them up table. So I think once you bring them up table, you know, you leave the two down there, you're going to have the advantage. Especially if you make them play the 14 like crazy. Uh-oh. Just be home. Okay. You're going to jump over the eight and tag on the four. It's a good shot. You gotta, you know, you got to jump. What if you don't jump it? He's calling a four ball. Bottom right hand corner. I've been playing pool a while. This would be a good one. Don't go. Yeah, I'm going to jump it. He's going to take you off the six or something. This is this. This. Ooh. I'm going to leak the 10. That's what I'm saying. It's got to be the perfect. I mean, it must be pretty leak the 10. Wow. I didn't think you would leave this. Look at this. He's straight. All right. The 8 goes bottom right. So. I didn't think he would leave that easy off of that shot because I thought what he was doing was okay. But he actually left the shot. That's going to be 3 1 Thundersticks. Yeah, I told you, Bo's been in a couple crazy, crazy games. There's another one. All right, let me see what I'm looking at here. Give me a second. So we got Mayer against Clay. Just trying to catch up on what's what. 3-1, one, one last time before we all get out of here. And I know I'm, it's the same people listening to me, but, you know, it's all part of it for people that watch in the future. As a reminder, it's all recorded. You go to our YouTube page. Watch any of these matches, all of them will be there. So I'm going to mention our sponsors that are very important, starting with ACS, Texas ACS, put this all together, American Q Sports, all the people that are involved, working, Janice, Janet, Shannon, a couple of the people I met with the tournament director, I know I'm missing a whole bunch of people, Ren. They're important, and also is Diamond, Aramith, Acme, Simona's Cloth, Omega Billiards. And that's enough of that stuff. The sponsors are covered, so back to pool. 
go away and let's go over to the break on the other side. See who's coming up here. So Sherman, Thundersticks, 3-1, true championship set. There was a little bit of a double elimination involved, but we're here. Winner goes on to Vegas. Texas State champions and representing Texas at the Nationals. Still a long way from that. But that's the goal. Sherman is a team captain. He's, he's been my hero for a couple couple hours. I got a new hero, maybe, you know, whatever. But he made a shot and a half. The other. I'll keep talking about because someone else is. Everyone's talking about that shot. Let's see his break. Keeps off the rail good. Let's see his break. Okay, eight ball wiggles out somehow before all the other balls. Gets a ball down. So far, so good. One of them tables, you could probably figure it out with either side. Stripes are solid. Solids look actually easier just because they're at 11. Okay, she gets the solids down. Pretty perfect to just rip this one. As long as you don't draw directly in the corner, you could have it some one of those balls. Wow, they, now that you look at it, look how crazy that lands. Now you gotta rip for the four. It's a tough shot now, if you look at it. It's almost like a Venom shot. Trick shot artist. Nice smooth stroke, kind of rip it. Rips it. I would have figured you got something from here. And those balls lie just so crazy. That's pretty, uh, pretty nuts. You wave that something. Just get something close. And you just get something close. I banked it too. And hit that 4 7 window. I don't know. Get going. One something. I guess the two might have enough meat. Okay. That was pretty, pretty solid. Just missed that three ball window. That would have been that 9-13 split. That would have been really pretty. I think it overrolled just a tad. Herman plays real good. You know, real good eight ball like like eight ball like you're supposed to play. Keep you know, always looking not to bump balls or very minimal. And just make sure you hit your angles. Very good. We see a couple, you know, like big time, he just he has that too, but he also looks to always blast. He wants to hit harder and softer and tether. Where's Tater? Tater's got all the firepower, you know, but that guy, as soon as he finds a pattern and he recognizes me, he turns into a monster. Well, you know, that's impressive. He's got a clip 
clip, clip, you know, clip and be lucky, should I say? Safety? Is that little bump safe thing? I mean, that 13, that 313 ticky. Yeah, there's, see, this, I like watching these because he bumps it up just high enough, but he don't want to leave nothing now. It's just literally just touch it. It was tough because you don't want to hit it too hard. You leave the 10, but and he couldn't cut it. That was the problem. This is no problem. Oh, is this big time so big time he's got these this firepower that he tries to map this stuff out and when he don't get there he just fires to his error that type of guy like if he gets on the wrong ball he just fires through the problem It get tricky if you get sharp on two two angle on two rail bars uh rail balls so if he makes the nine and eleven he gets sharp on on one of them he's gonna come back and forth right so that might be a problem just gonna make sure to avoid that You know, so coming at these balls, you can't be short. But you can, it just creates that little back and forth thing. So now he's got to go back and forth. Not bad, not back and forth, but I think so. The hold is tough. So you got, it's easier to go back and forth to, to control it. If you told me you got to hold it on that side of the table, you know, no way. Right? So you would have liked to have been flatter on both balls. Nothing he can handle. Four one, four one thunder sticks. We're gonna switch over, and we got another thunder stick. I think going, another thunder stick going strong. Mayor, get funky. What's he doing? Get 
a cow. He's got a good safe somewhere. He's calling it. This guy just wants to run out. Kind of watch off the eight. You get too loose, you scratch off the eight. This will be some shot. He's really thinking once you get up on it, you say, what am I thinking? Type of thing. Once you really get down on it. He's going to do a lot to beat you if you just tap on the one, you know? You don't want to glue it up, and I know it's hard to, you know, you don't want to glue up the 1-8. But this is aggressive, aggressive. I'd rather play the double bank and duck it. What a shot. Holy how he didn't even touch the eight. This guy's a miracle maker. You know, you got that much of control. And he just wants to run out. Play safe, man. That was a great shot. I don't know. Try and hide him. You come with this one too? Nah, let's get back to reality. This kid's got a cape on though right now. You know what I mean? He's ready to go. What a shot, though. I mean, that was fantastic. I can't believe it didn't come up. You know, hitting it that good, you should get rewarded. I think he called it. I don't even want to say it. I think he called it. Okay, safe. So he's scared of this, but I think, man, you did your job. Hand off the torch, let this guy do a miracle. Now he might get lucky, you know, and leave you under the ball. So be it. He might, he might kick something, you know, and leave you right under one of those balls down there. He ain't going smashing, you know. You know, you you know, obviously you gotta get a good kick. I would just slow roll and just hope I get a roll. Yeah, anything like that. But anything, you know, I mean whatever you plan out is probably two percent. Five? Sometimes it's just bad, real bad spots. Nasty, nasty safes, you know. This is one of them.
Yeah, he's looking to get at that 10 right in the face. Here we go. Okay, so that's going to give up on hand to Thundersticks. So I'm going to put five up. I don't care. Five, one. We're going to move on to that next table. There we go. We catch Jose. And then trying to dip a safe for Bank of Bank. Might get a roll. Definitely left a long shot. This is Steven the captain. I saw it kind of was peeking. He missed it. He missed the shot. Which let Jose to the table. And obviously Jose didn't have the best of shots. So now we're back to Steven here. And it's reversed. This guy don't have the best of shots. So far, he's kind of found everything. I don't know what he's thinking. I have to bank this nine. No, nope, no good, no good. Cancel that. He thinks he could follow. Clear to nine and duck under the 15. Across the face of the nine. Holy cow. That looks tight. I don't think he's doing that now. Maybe he's just trying to clip the 915. He's up there. He's, he's kind of elevated. Okay, well, it's definitely a tester. Especially knowing that you're going to shoot this, knowing the 15 is probably going to where if you miss it, you're going to give him Poe for the 15 position. So big shot coming in for Jose. Going home. He's deep on that rail a little bit to go into the side. Okay. Was up the corner with a nice shot. Checking in now. PSDs does get a game back 5 2. You know what? I know Daniel could handle this call. Please don't leave. He's trying hard. But I do have to step away and take a phone call. Thank you, Scott.
Action now. Bo from Team PHDS. Looking at a nice spread on the table. Shooting solids. Yates blocking up the four ball. He's going to have to make a tough cut if he's wanting to play the seven. And he does have an angle and a line on the one. Floats the one in off the nine. Stuck a little close to the rail. He's going to be able to recover here and get back in line. Thank you. I hope I didn't cut you off, but they do. <laughs> uh, all right. So I'm looking at him. Oh, uh, just walking in. So what is it? What is it, Daniel? Pretend like I'm walking in on your stream. What am Bo I is shooting solids. He's so, eyeing up the four here. No, no. Just solids is enough. I know what he's eyeing up. See how you go? That's why you don't talk, bro. All right. So a tough four, if that's what he's playing, three, seven's tough. But the four, I guess you play. Just get a ball down. On the corner and just a little, little, little soft, right? If he has a little bit more oomph, it carries everything. A little light. I don't think the pocket is uh, a problem. You can leave the four there and get around it. Got Kevin. Kevin's a run out player, so we'll see. Under six at the table, five, two lead. Um, let's see. Uh, I'll check, Daniel. Hold on. We're still good here, Daniel. The other table has a whole little mess going on. He got enough to get down to the 12 now. 
Just gonna use the nine. Still okay. Want a little bit more on that nine. Yeah, the nine might sit good now. Eight might be a problem. If you're trying to hit the, you know, come up front for the nine. I mean, uh, nine off down for the twelve. I don't know how bad the 12 is. Like, you could probably shoot it now if you had to. So, you don't have to get to the bottom of the rail, I don't think. And yeah, turn and hit the 7. Oh, we turned it even more. Yeah, good shot. Do this again on the 14. Turn into the 14. Oh, ho, 14. Hey, what's the little control there? Gotta come with something here off that rail. It's hard to draw and come back at it. So you're limited. I think it goes past the 8. But you want to try and come back at it. Maybe hit it. Pump the 8. But that's tough to do where his cue ball is. to dig in he could get a good hit on it you know it takes a good hit on the on the nine overall good stroke what a hit what you need and that's what the results could be when you fire a ball under sticks under sticks yeah i seen these guys playing up this is six two we're gonna jump over there daniel do your score in a minute. There we go. So 6-2. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Roderick. That's got a three ball down the rail. Keep pushing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wow. That eight is his friend today. That thing clicked him right for the two. He's okay. I mean, if you can see, he's okay. Even if he gets sharp on a 7, you could turn the 7 inside itself, inside the 13, and, you know, come out two rails that way. Get under the 8 if you had to. But I want to go crazy trying to move anything. If you got the shot, just get up a little. I think, you know, it might be tight going in there. Some tight window. Good shot. I don't know how much movement he could get. Fire through it, sure. That was nice. I would have stayed on the outside. He went inside. Oh. Clay was instantly out of his seat. Still going to make some shots. Little clutter. Only one pocket on the top top left. Now, I go into the balls right now. You're playing for, you go into position to break up when you have a breakup shot. You know, that type of stuff. He's playing position. Yeah, you're playing position to a breakup shot when you had a breakup shot. So, too much, a little overthink, I think, on Clay's end. 
Get the ball going. Get a ball in. Oh, oh my God. Well, stop. Like he yelled at it and I listened. But this is straight in. Seven two. I wish he would have made it just to see what would have happened on that one. Jumping in on Steven. For PhDs. He's been getting out all the time. We keep walking in on this guy with like a clean out and he gets out and then of course he gets short on the three. As soon as I say anything. I just put him in a tight spot just by coming. Oh, he's got the five. I'm sorry. All right, he's playing perfect. All better. 7-2 updated score. Eight away. Eight away. Yeah, nice shot. Cooks it. Still has the two for a second chance. Hey, he still has to go to a rail. He can't hold, so he's got to draw in, you know, tight. Keep it past that 14. Inside the 14, you're okay. Hey, this guy's been a horse for PhDs. It's been a horse. 7 3. Jumping in. Jumping in to another horse, Tommy. Tommy's been nails for his team.
Okay, another eight ball look for Tommy. No, just gets that one to go in. Picked up a little, gets it to sneak in. So we're going to have 7 4 PhDs. We're going to switch on over, catch a break by someone. Looks like it's a Steven break. He's been breaking great for five days. I think that went to Thundersticks. I'm sorry. We got 8 4 on that last table. I'm sorry, Dana. Get that up here. No problem. Eight three. Don't go by us. Yeah. Thank you. First because I was just going to breath, uh, booth, breath, breath, booth. Okay, I just want to just confirm with the refs that are standing by me because I messed up and I make sure I fix it. So 8-3 is confirmed. And shout out to our two refs. Big Bob, you know, and I don't get much of a butch booth. He was also a player and he's a ref, but Bob's the big boy. He's the senior guy. Even on a nice break and run. You haven't seen many during the finals. So Steven's going to push this lead for Thundersticks 9-2-3 after this 8-ball drops. But PhD's got to, they got to worry because this is what they saw last match. They saw him run away with it at the end. You know, get a big lead and then maintain that lead. So it's getting out of hand a little bit. We're going to pump that. That's a good score now, 9-3. We're jumping into... Jim at the table for PhDs. Looks like he's got it's either an open table or he's still thinking. But whoever broke got a good break on this one. He's also very well once the pattern is established, just making sure that he hits his spots, maps them out. Runs past everything has to come off the four two ball. Does he come to the top rail or does he try and draw to the window? He's too flat to be drawn. I mean too sharp. Okay, so he's floating again. Trying to float again, much better. Got to hit a good draw if he wants to draw to the four. Because if you leak, you know, you could 
I'm up short. We go towards the four too much. Whoa. Man, that was so close. I mean, I think he's got it. But it is by a whisker. Oh, rail first, rail first. Oh, man. It was that tight. Kevin back to the table for Thundersticks. I don't think I've seen this kid, this guy. Okay. This guy missed more than my, maybe one or two balls. Kind of a funky one game I saw, but other than that, he's solid. I don't know. Do you want to go back and forth? Do you take care of the two balls? So if you play the nine, you should be playing the 12, right? Next. And if you play the 11, you should be playing the 10 next. So, you know, that type of thing? I don't know. I avoid going back and forth, back and forth. He's okay on this 12 coming across, but you don't want, you know, you got to be careful hitting your angle. You know, you're straight, you're in trouble. I mean, you can work with it, but make sure this angle's good. A lot of control, a lot of control, and bingo. Looks pretty good. Okay. It's a sliver of the nine. Nice angle to draw out if you like. Short, that's light. All right, so cut. I think he's, oh no. Is he playing for the corner? All right. The corner's a tester. The eight's just, you know, tough for shot, but it looks easier on the eye. Stings it. 10 3. We are getting close. And we got another thunder stick up. Just coming away with this second set, just like steamrollers. So we'll just keep pushing and pushing. They're going quick now. 
think we're going to be updated again. We got 11-3, so uh, running away with it. Thundersticks. Okay, Mayor for Thundersticks with the break. Big break. Okay, a little clutter on the right hand side, but workable on both ends. I might go off the 10 right now and bust some stuff up. Little belly pump, maybe, or an elbow rub. Yeah, he wants to hang it up. He wants to move to six. That's what he wants to do. Yeah, likes this three ball if he could just use it. He's real good with, you know, using the angles and recognizing how to cheat a pocket. Well, this 11 helps him if he could sneak the six by, you know. Kind of could dig in, shoot towards the 11 instead of forward. Okay. Mmm. Oats and in with a beautiful touch with an angle to come back out if you like. Or draw straight out. He's got enough angle to draw like in between the 9 and 11. He's got a power, power stroke. Just sliding around like that. He's sliding around. This guy's got a good stroke. Real good stroke, and he, he uses it well. That's smooth. All these guys play good. I say, I say, Tommy. I saw Stephen for three days, and Tommy impressed me. Now this kid hasn't made a mistake and coming with crazy shots. This guy might be the, the ace. He don't even have the regular shirt, you know. You don't even have to put a shirt on. He's allowed to wear his uh, regular jacket. It's special rules. I think if he gets straight on both balls, he's fine. Like draw, draw. Draw and then draw. I think he's all right. I mean, maybe he's worried about, you know, Getting, he's on a little wrong angle, but he shoots good. It's easy for him.
It's going to be 12 3. Thunder six, two away. Or three away, I'm sorry. Okay, so here we go. We're getting close. We're getting close. Big Tommy coming in. Off of either a safe or a miss or whatnot, but he's at the table. I'm not really sure what's going on. These these stripes. They're so solid. Two six is dead. Does he come all the way up for the side? Or does he play for... Does he kind of fall away? So you got to kind of rip it. Come on, you're going to put some power all the way up. Whoa, whoa. Wow, that got... You know, I was kind of, I didn't think he was going that way. He's home. He's got this eight ball to really, really stick it. You know, 13, you can end in two games. He's waiting for his uh, teammate. His te no, his teammate's sitting down. But Tommy's going to get this with him, too. So let's switch on over. I've seen this a thousand times with this guy. There we go. Jim's at the table. With stripes on a run. So 13-3. A lot of threes. It's a good bump. Still got to go a little touch right back and forth. I don't think you can float it. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Hold on. This is not good. This is screaming scratch. Oh, man. Look at this. He's calling in the corner. Oh, yeah. 
That was was rough. He got in trouble going wild on that first shot prior, but it's going to hand the game. The Thundersticks. It's going to put them on the hill. You know what that means? That means they're one away from the Texas title, ACS Texas State Championship. Men's, I guess it's the, what was that, Opens Division. So they're the top dogs, the best uh, players I bet in this league. From what I saw all weekend, a lot of great players. I think these guys shine, and they're going to represent. Give me one more game, represent Texas. So we're going to catch Steven. The break. We'll go back and forth when any time something looks like it, you know, either turn into a run, or we'll get that last eight ball. Big break, big, huge break. So there'll be another game racking up in a minute on the second table. Well, PhDs, just Stevens gets this out, uh, gets this run out going. Just so I don't talk to him in case there's a quick ending and they start doing all that stuff, I'm pretty much done. So once again, if you've been here all week and listened to my voice, my name is Scott Simonetti. I'm with Omega Billiards. So we do a lot of streams, um... No, it's the first time I'm doing this ACS, but we cover other events. Omega also streams a lot of pro events. So if you want, sooner or later, we're going to have a pay-per-view with the pros. So if you're a fan of this stream and my voice, please, I don't ask, but sooner or later, you know, I'm in a rotation with other commentators. A couple likes help me out. So while I got a minute of your ear, Say thanks again for welcoming me to Texas. If it helps any, I'm rooting for the Rangers. I really am, believe me, financially. Back to pool and none off of that, but just in case. KP, you don't have the one? This is bad if you don't have the one. You're calling this, three, this tough one, right? Tough shot. Look at the cue. Okay, still grinding. Still grinding. shot this one's a little bit touchy he got pinned straight wow he's gonna try and draw maybe go forward you know make a good shot go forward and just suck that rail on the left side i'll deal with it trying to hit that massive draw it might be pinned straight, which is okay. I mean, you just got to hit a great shot. But you get to that back rail. He's going to draw. Okay, so I think he's trying to just stop it, maybe. It's, that's that's tough. You know, it's tough. It's so far. If it wasn't, if it was a closer distance from object ball to cue ball, you get, you know, you'd be able to really. Rip into that ball. Okay, so we're kicking. Hey, I forgot to, I forgot to check because I saw Sherman running out. We got a game, Sherman. Snuck us. Oh, this is good, maybe. 
He was in the way, but he came at it. At least he hit it. So 14. We got an update. We're good. 14-4. We're still hanging on. There'll be another one. It's coming up. This, is, this could be it. Oh. Okay. So Kevin misses one. Let's Steven back at the table. Still okay in the score wise, but that was it. You could have been the hero type of thing. You know? Alright, so we gotta wait. At least for a minute. In fact, uh, on the other table, just to give you an update, we're not going away. Because yet they're still racking. Mayor from. He's gonna be breaking. It's Jose. It's far from over. Steven's got to find a home for the eight ball. Draw is going to be tough. Draw rips it to the, like almost to the corner. Like right into the corner. And he's sort of bottom, I think. I think you get a follow real tight. No draw. Try and get to this bottom rail. And then two rails out and scream at the 813. A lot of spin. Good stroke. Very nice. This this could work. Oh, beauty. Hey, so that gets another one. That's back to back. The plane to Vegas has got to wait. We're jumping in on Mayor. I don't know what he's walking into, but he's at the table. And this is a guy that just runs out. Looks like he's got ball in hand, which is no thing you want to see. I'm going to pop in these solids. Mm-hmm. He's in trouble after that break. Free ball. Jump. One ball jump. Okay, secondary table, Tommy. Let's go to the Tommy break, uh, Daniel. So Tommy will be breaking. Again, no, th everyone at Thunder Six is on the hill. He's playing clay. Okay, so here we go. We'll be all right. We'll check this out. I might make like, you know, seven bowls on a break. It's one. That's important. Another open table. We're going to monitor both and try and get an eight ball because uh, I'll end it for Thundersticks. Okay, let's just take a peek, but we're going to come back to this one. Okay, Daniel, I just want to see what we got. So this ball in hand, May and Mayor tried to thin off of something and got caught. So let's just take a peek at that table, ball in hand, and we'll come back when he cleans a couple off. We got Big Tommy, who hasn't, I don't think he's lost a game. Maybe one. I don't think he's missed too many balls. This guy looking at this out, it could end.
Donut and brewing on the other table. He's trying to get for the 11. Got to use the 13. I think you're still all right. Maybe you don't draw to it. Just get high again. Like get to where you want off of this. Either go towards the one, you know. Don't come across yet. If you don't want to. If you don't have to. We want to just be, you know, right by the one. So we'll just bring it up to the one again. Let's pull it out. He's okay. Looking good. Nice. Easy, perfect, uh, uh, a little bit on the rail, want it to be straight, he's got the five, he wants to bump around, I think he might sting it, there's a little more angle than he wanted. It's kind of like a perfect just to get to up to five, you know. I can roll it as soft as I can. This is trouble. Kiss shots. Up the four on the side. I don't know what the cue ball does going toward that side pocket. Side pocket. In the eight, thank you. Whoa! For the win! How about that? Well, there you have it. 
2023 ACS Texas champions are. Who are they, Daniel? They're the Thundersticks. The Thunder yeah, and they're going to Vegas. So congratulations to those teams. Uh, I'd like to say goodbye for the whole event and just for the players that are going to watch in the future. If I met you and we had some smiles, it was great. It was great watching some pool with you guys, but I had a lot of fun, but I'm done. Hope to see you next year or sometime on the stream. But my name is Scott Simonetti, and I really do appreciate you listening. Daniel, take them home. Thank you, Scott, and thank you, viewers, for tuning in. Don't forget that TV code, 10% off at OmegaBilliards.com. It's Omega TV 10. Big thanks to all of our sponsors and, of course, the ACS for putting this wonderful event together. Good night, guys.